beautiful souls. This is Christy with Art of Awakening and just a quick daily reading for you here. This is, uh, I'm recording this on April 10th, 2019. Uh, so this will be for this day through the 11th or whatever day you happen to land here because time is less linear than we think. And I uh, have a little audience set up here. I, uh, my birthday was last, last February, but um, my birthday happened to be the day where we had like the biggest snowfall of the decade. And so I had a little family party that got delayed and I was just given these beautiful little candles. There's like a little bear and a frog and an owl. And I thought I'd bring in Ganesh, the remover of obstacles, just because it feels like a lot of obstacles are being removed right now. And let's just keep that trend going. So this is the card of the day. This is Salmon. All right, Salmon. It has been coming up a lot lately, just a lot, a lot for me and, and the readings that I've been doing over the past year. And I always associate Salmon with Ascension. They do, uh, you know, they, they're, they're an interesting animal because they live in both fresh and salt water and they have to adapt to, to those. But they come up, um, you know, to spawn at the end of their lives. And so for the salmon, you know, this, this process of creation is also a process of death because they're, they're hatched up in the streams and they have to go down to the ocean and there's a transformation process that happens so that they can handle the salt water. And then when they're, they spend years in the ocean, several years, and then they come back to their home stream and they have to go upstream this time fighting the currents and then they spawn and die. And what this is kind of saying is that the message that Salmon is bringing right now is that there are a lot of changes. There's a lot of ascension, like the whole planet is ascending and 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 we're part of that. Um, but when we do have changes, there's like, there's a death that happens and, and often like many, many little deaths because it's like, it's that process of letting go. It is a type of death that's the whole resurrection the resurrection kind of archetype, um, you, you know, the, the Christ archetype is the letting go, the shedding, the releasing of the old in order for the new to be born. So, and that process can be painful. I mean, it's, it's not hard or it's not easy for the salmon to, to swim against this really strong, really strong current. And you know, you get the same thing, the snake, the shedding of the skin. Um, there, there's all sorts of like the butterfly moving into the, the, the chrysalis and experiencing sort of a death. Um, so I, I think the encouragement today is to acknowledge, just acknowledge that there's some pain that goes with it. And without getting sucked into victimhood, because it's really easy to be feeling this pain and oh, you know, it's poor me, whatever, like, and I'm not trying to make fun of anybody because it's like, I'm totally speaking for myself too, right? It's, it's easy to kind of wallow in that feeling. And sometimes that we go through phases where it actually feels good to, <laughs> to be miserable, right? But hopefully most of us are, are, you know, have moved out of that or are in the process of moving out of that. And, um, but, but in order to really let go, it, it's also, uh, it's also easy to go into, like when we start moving out of victimhood, we go into the opposite of extreme, like, oh, I can handle this and it's okay. And, you know, I'm a survivor, which is, it's also a really good phase to go through. Right. Um, but, but then if you can move through that to, to actually honestly looking at, whatever happened to you or whatever, you know, whatever you've had to go through and acknowledge the pain without getting sucked into it. So it's sort of like this dispassionate observation of the pain 
and sometimes that can help to actually finally release it and then move on move on to the next phase move on to the 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 you know in the case of the salmon the next generation you know a rebirth and because life is just a lot easier on the other side would be downhill <laughs> once you know whatever it is and we're all constantly moving through these things that we have to release it's just part of the journey you know and once we release a few things then more things come up to be released and and just part of this is just a sort of an appreciation of observing this this whole process and um you know doing so without getting caught up in it just sort of observing and releasing letting go so i encourage you to just be in a phase of observation this day and enjoy the moment as well because there's so much joy to be had in life and you know this process of releasing it what it does it just helps us to open to that joy so enjoy your day if you are not familiar with what i do um the art of awakening it's i i offer ascension coaching spiritual coaching and healing work as well as artwork uh, this is my deck that i created um with the animal cards so I've got a link to that below, a link to, um, you know, signing up with sessions. And I encourage you to subscribe if you haven't yet, and be sure to hit that bell to be notified of new videos. I am uploading videos all through the month of April on a daily basis. So thank you so much. I love you all. And enjoy your day. Just have a great time today. Find something in today that is joyful to your heart.